Antoine François Mamoureux (1756–24 March 1794) was a French printer, bookseller, and politician during the French Revolution. An important figure in the Cordeliers Club and in Ebertisme, he is the originator of the phrase "unité, indivisibilité de la République, liberté, égalité, fraternité au la mort," one of the mottos of the French Republic. Topic: Life. First printer of liberty Mamoureux's family was originally from Spain but settled in the Francia Comte region of eastern France. Antoine Francois Mamoureux studied in his hometown and moved to Paris while still very young. He showed a particular talent as a typographer and he was admitted to the Parisian Printers Guild in 1787. He was one of many publishers in the French capital, but he established his credentials quickly by issuing his own highly regarded printer's manual, Traité élémentaire de l'Emprimerie, au le Manuel de l'Emprimeur The outbreak of the Revolution and the declaration of the freedom of the press in August, 1789, massively boosted his output and would change his destiny. An open opponent of even a constitutional monarchy and of the Roman Catholic religion, Mamoro keenly threw himself into the revolutionary cause and put his abilities at the service of the new ideas. At the start of the revolution he bought up several presses, opened a press at 171 Rue de la Harpe and launched himself into politics. His initial output remained cautious however, as shown by his refusal in June, 1789, to be the first publisher of La France Libre by Camille de Molins. He won the exclusive concession to topography and printing from the Paris Commune and became secretary to the Société des Droits de l'Homme, which later became the Club des Cordeliers, whose journal he published as well as becoming one of its loudest orators. Mamoro was also among the signatories of the anti-monarchical petition which led to the Champ de Mars massacre, an event that would end in formalizing the split between the moderates and extremists. In the wake of this affair, which led to his imprisonment until September, 1791, Mamoro resumed his printing activities under his self-given title of First Printer of the National Liberty, publishing Jacques René Ebert's radical newspaper, La Peur de Chesney. <laughs> Radicalization A member of the Section du Théâtre Français, in June 1792 he, Danton and Chamet wrote and signed a declaration which suppressed the distinction between passive and active citizens in the section. He then took an active part in the insurrection of 10 August 1792. He more and more supported the enragés more than the more moderate indulgence. He was elected by the section to the Directoire du département de Paris and it was then that he and Mayor Patch inscribed the motto Unité, Indivisibilité de la République, Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité au la mort on the façades of all public buildings. After a recruiting mission in Calvados and Ur, he returned to Paris where he was made president of the section du Théâtre Français. He took an active part in dechristianization and was a principal proponent of the cult of reason. It was his wife, Sophie Mamoro, née Fournier, who played the part of the goddess at the cult's infamous Festival of Reason on 20 Brumaire, year 2, the 10th of November 1793. He was sent into the Vendée in May 1793, where he acted as deputy to Charles Philippe Ronson at the siege of the Etat Major at Sommer, in a mission to ensure the army fighting against the revolt there was well supplied. On his return to Paris, in a long report sur la politique de la Vendée fête au Comité de Salut Public, he explained the reasons for setbacks to Ronson's strategy in the Vendée and defended General Rossignol, contributing to his rehabilitation. When Merritt was assassinated on July 13, 1793 by Charlotte Corday, Mamoro aspired to succeed him as champion of the people and their cause. He persuaded the Cordeliers to go ahead with the publication of the L'Ami du Pupil at his press. Fall After working for the fall of the Girondists in the struggle between the Commune and the Convention, he participated in attacks on Danton, Robespierre whom he accused of moderantisme, and the Committee of Public Safety. Pushed onwards by a report by Saint-Just to the Convention denouncing the «complot de l'étranger», 
Woven by the indulgence and exagérés, the committee decided on the arrest of the Ebertistes on 13 March 1794. The Revolutionary Tribunal condemned Mamoro to death, and he loudly replied, "'You accuse me, who has given everything for the revolution?' He was guillotined with Ebert, Ronson, Vincent and other leading Ebertistes the following afternoon, 4 Germinal, Year 2 the 24th of March 1794. 